I still think Amity needs to be whooped with a stick, especially after she called Luz a bully, not just for reading her diary, which was an accident by the viewer's viewpoint, which means we're not going to sympathize with Little Witch's plight, but simply for existing on the Boiling Isles and upsetting the status quo, just so Amity has an easier navigating the future she more or less chose. Did she make it clear that it wasn't really her family coursing to be in the Emperor's Covenant. I mean, that's what a pressure would probably had been put on her older siblings, but the show has her literally gushing over the idea. So again, I can't empathize with her when her parents are a core see her to not make friends with certain people. She still has her own life she wants, and yes, she can get there without being a b- and what's more upsetting is that she knows her family is horrible, but she won't do anything about it even though she has shown to be very smart and cunning working within the system and being a bit manipulative like when she's dealing with her older twin siblings. At first they put her down and she doesn't feel like she can fight them, but it's very clear that she can both mentally and physically once you show your tormentors that you will stand your ground and you will beat them at their own game, because here's the thing, bullies are weak mentally and physically. They rely on scare tactics and pick targets on a regular that they know won't fight back. They're predictable, but what kind of pissing me off is that a lot of shows tell you... <laughs> <laughs> Tell your protagonists to sympathize with their bullies, and oftentimes it they do if they do show the bullies for the viewers to sympathize with, they have awful upbringing a la Diamond Tiara from My Little Pony. The audience and the Crusaders told to forget everything she did simply because, oh, she's having a hard time at home. Are you kidding me? This does not get fixed within a day because you show some compassion, especially when it comes from another peer. They don't see these people as people. They're jealous jealous because in the bully's mind, they are inferior. But at the same time, they believe they have better lives than they do and think that they deserve it more than they do at the base level of their brain. You don't tell a kid who is bullied relentlessly to give an olive branch to their tormentors and just ignoring them isn't always going to help. That's when they're most likely to get more violent, because now their sense of control is gone, and that's what bullies crave, because they don't get it, get it at home. They don't have stability. Them taking their aggression out on others is their a way of stabilizing themselves, and again, telling a kid to just sit there and take it or else get in trouble. Yes, I'm an America is B. B? is bastard? Bitch, what, what are you trying to say? The only way this stops is that another adult steps in as both a peacemaker and the authority figure to help the bully out, to get to the root of the problem, and then get the right authorities involved, such as the bully getting therapy, and if anybody in the house is hurting this kid physically or emotionally, haul the ass <laughs> Hold the ass to jail. Shit, we're uh, okay. Hold the ass to jail, but most often it's is it it's a kid coming from a one parent household, normally a mother, and she's always working, so the child feels neglected, and that is a form of abuse. But it's something by law that is not seen as aggressive, which is a lot more understandable. But then you got who are wait what? That's supposed to be like fuckers or. Or the, the other effort, and it, who are pushing back against the people, people getting a government support because apparently it lends itself to becoming a cycle of women having kids with no partners to create a stable environment. That's only one way to do that. I'm getting off topic. <laughs> you think? <laughs> what I'm talking? 
what I'm talking about is that shows need to stop with the glorif- this glorification of uh, forgiving your tormentors. Oh my god, there's more. Because they themselves are having a hard time. True, more violence can lead to more violence. But again, these bullies are weak. I know from experience when I finally showed them I wasn't going to effing take it. Take anything from them because I gone to teachers, didn't do S, and ignoring them only made it worse when I finally stood up to them, and I really didn't have to do much. I just had to uh, hold them against the wall, and there were two of them that I did this to simultaneously, basically making them think I was a psycho. <laughs> oh. But I didn't say anything, and they were scared of getting in trouble. Because <laughs> guess what? I'm not their only target, and they have a rap sheet. <laughs> so by the time I get done telling teachers what's going on, because they're not doing anything, lo and behold, they're actually scared of getting in trouble. Because more than likely, someone in the school staff is calling and reporting their behavior to their parents. And sooner or later, enough marks against you can get you expelled. Of course, I if I did tell at them, I would also have to say I held them against the wall, meaning I put my hands on them. The stupid no tolerance is B. What do you think is going to happen when you have 2,000 plus students in one building? We're going through hormonal changes, and that doesn't really stop until they're 25. Point being, everyone's a F idiot. Keep to your guns, metaphorically. If you don't have those, and if you do have them, don't shoot up- Oh, Jesus. <laughs> don't shoot up the school. It doesn't do anybody any good. It just makes the bullies look like victims and make people think it's okay to make fun of the reject, because obviously they're even more violent. They're, have I made it clear that I don't like Hamity, and that writers who write this sort of message to sash, to shush, jeez, to shove those pencils in their eyeballs. <laughs> what a trip.